yes dear students welcome to all of you once again in a new session so in last session we discussed about series combination of resistors or uh, different devices or conductors when connected in series so uh, in this session we are going to discuss if same uh, resistors or uh, conductor uh, conductors or devices are connected in parallel then what will happen what is the advantage of using parallel combination over series combination and uh, uh, why do we prefer parallel combination in, in uh, houses and uh, at uh, every place okay uh, industries mein gharon mein har jagah parallel combination ko prefer karte hain why and uh, what are the other important points of parallel combination uh, this all we are going to discuss and you will find uh, some formula also here important formula to solve the questions right so this session is going to be very interesting for all of you i am sure and you are going to get a lot of knowledge if knowledge is there you are going to get marks and remember continue to save water uh, for generations to come because uh, 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 most of us just study to earn money okay we should earn money that's true but we should serve the nation also so the we we should uh, study for the service of nation and service of nation kya kaise ho sakti hai by saving the uh, natural environment so now move towards whiteboard and let's start the session yes dear students uh, in last session we discussed series combination and in series combination uh, we discussed that how resistors or uh, conductors or appliances are connected in series and uh, what is series combination and we discuss equivalent resistance equivalent resistance which is which is very very important to know the definition of equivalent resistance is important okay after that we discuss what are the disadvantages of uh, connecting the appliances or conductors or resistors in series combination we discuss that why don't we uh, join the appliances at home in series combination yes uh, i am sure that you must have understood that and uh, now So today what we are going to do so today we are going to discuss if we connect the resistors in a different way in a different way means of uh, each end of uh, each resistor is connected to one uh, terminal and another end of each uh, resistor is connected to another terminal then what will happen and what do we call that combination this we are going to discuss okay before that chhoda uh, sa revision So in series combination, uh, how do we join the resistors? Uh, this is R11, and this is R2, and this is R3. Okay, and uh, here it is connected to yes a cell. Yes, and this is a switch, and here we can join a meter. यहां पर हमने अमीटर लगा दिया दिस इज अमीटर यस दिस इज आर वन दिस इज आर टू एंड दिस इज आर थ्री सो एंड दिस इज वी पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप इज यर वी पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज वी सो द अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड व्हिच इज पासिंग थ्रू ईच रजिस्टर इज सेम दैट इज आई एंड इट कैन बी मेजर यूजिंग अमीटर now uh, what do you think if i connect this ammeter from here at this place agar ammeter ko yahan se le ja kar yahan join kar de here uh, ammeter is connected at this point the amount of current will remain same or will change amount of current will remain same good question if ammeter is connected here yahan se humne ammeter ko hataya aur yahan join kar diya okay now ammeter is connected at this point now amount of current will remain same or will change it will show the same reading means amount of current will remain same it shows that uh, in a series combination electric current passing through each conductor or resistor or appliance remains same and what about the potential difference potential difference across uh, v uh, r1 is v1 and across this is v2 and across this is v3 This means total potential difference V is divided into how many parts? Three parts. Okay, because here we have three resistors, so it is divided into three parts, and V is equal to the sum of V one, V two, and V three. How can we measure V one? 
which device or instrument is used to measure uh, potential difference across R1, across the ends of the R1 or across the ends of R2? Yes, which device? Voltmeter. So, voltmeter can be used to measure V1, V2, V3. V voltmeter ke ek bar hum yaha lagayenge, yaha se hatane ek bar reading liya, then uh, V2 ke lagaya reading liya, V3 ke lagaya reading liya, and we find that V1, V2, V3 are different in each case. Yes, we discuss. We shall be doing. Uh, we shall be discussing this activity after parallel combination. Activities are very very important. Uh, three marks ke activity ko puchha ja sakta hai na. So activity generally kya hota? Student they skip the activity. Chhod dete hain. And it has been uh, uh, my experience uh, that uh, activities are asked in board exams also. Hai na? चलिए नाउ आफ्टर दैट हमने एक ये पढ़ा था कि v इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू r हियर इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन इन सीरीज इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस सो v इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू r बिकॉज़ i रिमेंस सेम तो जिसका आर ज्यादा होगा उसके अक्रॉस वी भी क्या होगा ज्यादा होगा दिस वी हैव डन एंड आई क्या होता है आई इज सेम इन ऑल रेजिस्टर्स और हमने एक और पॉइंट किया था एक पॉइंट हमने लास्ट टाइम डिस्कस नहीं किया था कि व्हिच काइंड ऑफ रेजिस्टर्स और व्हिच काइंड ऑफ डिवाइसेस आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज हाई रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइसेस और लो रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइसेस देखो यूनाइट कौन होते हैं ओके तो जो वी होंगे वो यूनाइट होंगे यस और नो तो इसमें क्या करेंगे हम लो रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइसेस क्योंकि रेजिस्टेंस इंक्रीज करना है आपको तो इसमें लो इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट लो रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइसेस आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज इसको इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट मान के याद रखेंगे है ना ये ये भी इंपॉर्टेंट है राइट सारे इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है ये तो लो रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइसेस आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज जब लो रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइसेस को कनेक्ट करेंगे तो उनका क्या टोटल रेजिस्टेंस ज्यादा हो जाता है ना और वोल्टेज अगर हाई भी होगा इफ आई इज आई तो कैसा होगा v अपॉन r जब ये r ज्यादा हो जाएगा ओके okay, r इज वेरी हाई लो हीटिंग डिवाइस लो रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइस इज कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज तो व्हेन r x इज हाई इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस इज हाई voltage remains same then amount of current passing through each will be less okay so kya hota hai isme kya hota hai these devices these devices are not spoiled wo kharab nahi hote okay now low heat resistance devices are correct in series ek aur point hai yes anyone so one more important point is there that is ye jo current hai current i Uh, it is not dependent on the R1, R2 or R3. इनकी position के ऊपर depend नहीं करती है. If you uh, if you join R2 here and R1 is uh, joined here, then amount of current will remain same. Amount of current will not uh, change. So this means amount of current passing through uh, the circuit is independent of the position of resistors. So here R3 can be uh, uh, joined here in place of R2. R2 can go. At place of uh, R3, so I independent I means electric current is independent of the position of the resistors in the circuit. So this is another important point you have to remember. So I am writing on the board, right? So on the uh, last point is uh, the current in the circuit is independent of the relative position of the resistors in the circuit. So these points we have uh, discussed today. Now we are going to discuss uh, the topic of the day that uh, how to find equivalent resistance when uh, three resistors uh, are connected in parallel combination. So now uh, note all this, and then I am going to wrap it. So now uh, equivalent resistance of resistors in parallel. So here we are going to take three resistors. Okay, we are going to take three resistors. Uh, okay, uh, some of you have asked sir, what are uh, what is a resistor? What is a resistor? The resistor we have discussed earlier, but uh, I am going to show you that what is a resistor uh, actually. You know, here you can see uh, in my hand it is a resistor. It is a resistor, and here you can see it is written ten. 
So it is a resistor of 10 ohm resistance. It is a resistor of 10 ohm resistance. Okay, so you can understand the difference between resistor and resistance. So resistance is resistor ka 10 ohm. Hai. And uh, we have different resistors, 2 ohm resistor, 5 ohm resistance, okay, uh, resistor, 1 ohm resistor here. Now if I open it and I show you, you can see here there is a wire inside it. There is a wire inside it. And its length you can see it's very long. It is a coiled wire. It's a coiled wire, very long wire. So here uh, it is 10 ohm. And if I show you 2 ohm resist, uh, resistor, then the length of the wire and thickness of the wire will be same or different? Yes, different. Okay, because 2 ohm resistance ka uh, jo resistor hum lenge, resistance uska 2 ohm hai, uska length uh, wire ka inside jo hoga, that is the different. Why? Because we have discussed earlier that resistance is directly proportional to L. If L is more, resistance will also be more. It also increases. So resistance is directly proportional to length of the okay, conductor. So therefore, uh, it has long coil wire because it is of how much? 10 ohm. This resistor is of 10 ohm. So we join the resistors. We have taken resistors, 2 ohm resistor, 10 ohm, 5 ohm. So we are taking uh, different resistors. So here in place of 2, 10 and uh, uh, okay, 4 ohm resistor, we are taking resistor R1, R2 and R3. So this is what we have So there are three resistors. This is one resistor R1 and this is another resistor R2 and this is the third resistor R3. Yes. So uh, one end of each. So this is end, uh, one end of R1. This is uh, R2 and this is R3. So this is an end, one end of R2. This is one end of R3. So we are joining these ends at one common point. In we have a common point to join it. Right? So these are joined at a common point. We have joined it. Right? Same with this end. Uh, this end of uh, this resistor, R1, we join here this way. And here it is joined this way. So these three resistors are joined this way. You can see it is different from series combination. In series combination, resistors are connected end to end. We are like end to end. Here it is different. Here it is different. Parallel khadhe, students are standing parallel to each other. One, two, three. And there, there, uh, this left end. Kya hoga? This will be connected at one point. And right end of three will be connected at one point. Okay. So here, this is A and this is B. And uh, it is connected to a battery. This comes the battery switch when here. Yes, and here is the switch. Yes. Now what will happen? Its potential difference is V. And potential difference across A B V Kyoga. That is also V. So potential difference across A B ends where these are connected is V. So now I current is uh, being produced by this battery. I current is produced by so this is I. Now there are three resistors R1, R2, R3. Now up to this I is there. Now it has to go to three sides. This current I to three sides are there. So current uh, can it be same in all the resistors? Yes, can it be same in all the resistors? No. Here it has to Okay, divide. So it is divided into one part, second part, and third part. This which of current general, let's it is I1, and here it is I2, and here it is I3. So I is divided into I1, I2, and I, I3. So I current, total amount of current uh, which is being produced by the battery is divided into three parts I1, I2, I3. Yes, any problem here? No. Draw the circuit here. So now, uh, which law we shall be using? Yes, Ohm's law. Ohm's law is very, very 
important. We shall be using Ohm's law to solve it. Yes, as we have done in the series combination. Do I have your Okay, done. Now, so V is the uh, potential difference of the battery, I is the current. So here I is divided into three parts, I1, I2, I3. So we can write down here, uh, therefore, I is equal to I1 plus uh, I2 plus I3. Now we need to find the amount of current I1. I1 kidna hai? I1 kidna hai? So here we use karenge hum Ohm's law. And Ohm's law kya kya hai? Ki V is equal to IR means I is equal to V upon R. So now we shall write down here. Therefore, current in R1, it will be I1 is equal to V upon R1. Yes, according to Ohm's law. So you can write down here according to Ohm's law. यहाँ लिख सकते हैं हम इसको यहाँ हम लिख ही देते हैं using Ohm's law तो current in R1 is I1 is equal to V upon R1 similarly current in R2 will be how much I2 is equal to V upon R2 similarly Current in I3, ये कितना होगा? Here it is I3 is equal to V upon R3. Any problem here? Yes? No? So देख लीजिए इसको using Ohm's law. Ohm's law को हमने use किया. Okay. So this is equation number 1, ये हमारा 1 है, तो 1 में हम क्या करेंगे, I1 की value लिख देंगे, ये value, I2 की value ये लिख देंगे, and I3 का value, this will be data, yes, now, now, uh, from equation 1, I is equal to I1, I2, I3 है, तो हम यहाँ लिख देंगे, I1 plus I2 plus I3, in place of I1, it will be V upon R1, V upon R2 plus V upon I, I3. Any problem here? And it is here? I. So this thing, note down. Yes, done? Okay. Now what is common here? If we see what is common here? V is common, ये R1, R2, R3 अलग है, तो here it is, V is common, तो we can write down 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3. Yes, go down. Done? Good. Now, I is there, तो I क्या है यहाँ पे? क्या है? Current, total current, V is the total potential difference तो so let the equivalent resistance of R1, R2, R3 इसको हम let कर लेते हैं let the equivalent resistance of all these three resistors is Rp लेंगे इसको P means parallel R means resistance so equivalent resistance को हम यह लेखेंगे Rp uh, now here I am cut, continuing this side now uh, let Rp is the equivalent resistance of R1, R2 and R3. Okay? So therefore, therefore, यहाँ पर क्या हो जाएगा? In place of I, total current हमारा कितना था? I है. ये क्या है? V है. So therefore, I will be V upon R P. P is representing parallel. So, equivalent resistance of resistors in parallel. अब देखिए I आ गया हमारा V upon R P. तो I के जगह हम क्या लिख देंगे? V upon R P लिख देंगे. So therefore here we can write down V upon 
आर पी इसको टू बी अब बी कॉमन आ गया आर वन आर टू एंड यर वन अपॉन आर थ्री नाउ यू 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 हैव गॉट द रिलेशनशिप तो नाउ बी इज कैंसिल वट डू वी गेट वन अपॉन आर पी इसको टू वन अपॉन आर वन प्लस वन अपॉन आर टू प्लस वन अपॉन Yes. So now we have got the equivalent resistance uh, when R1, R2, R3 are connected in parallel. And here you can see it is reciprocal. One upon R B A. One upon R P A. So equivalent resistance क्या आ रहा है? देखिए it is a reciprocal. है ना? तो sum of all these three resistance जो है R1, R2, R3 का इनका reciprocal का sum जो है it is one upon R P A. सो नो डाउट फिर आगे चलते हैं यस डन तो मेयर आप नॉट दिस पार्ट थोड़ा सा आगे और मूव करते हैं एंड वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ यूजिंग पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन व्हेन पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन इज यूज्ड दिस वी आर गोइंग टू सी Now, if we have to see the amount of current I one, I two, I three, हम कैसे चेक करेंगे कि करंट जो है ये सेम नहीं है इन ऑल थ्री रेजिस्टर तो वी कैन यूज विच डिवाइस अमीटर गुड सो अमीटर कैन बी करेक्टेड एट दिस पॉइंट एक बार हम अमीटर यहां लगाकर देखें ओके अमीटर को हम लगा सकते हैं दिस इज पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव पॉजिटिव एंड इधर आएगा नेगेटिव एंड दिस साइड रीडिंग नोट करेंगे आई वन फिर अमीटर यहां से निकाला वी कैन कनेक्ट अमीटर हियर वी कैन नोट डाउन आई टू वी कैन देन रिमूव द अमीटर फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन कनेक्ट अमीटर हियर वी कैन नोट डाउन द आई थ्री वी शेल फाइंड दैट आई वन आई टू आई थ्री आर नॉट सेम जो रीडिंग अमीटर का आएगा उसमें आई वन आई टू आई थ्री सेम नहीं होगा ठीक है बट अगर हमें देखना है कि पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस ईच रजिस्टर कितना होगा हमने देखा दिस इज टोटल V, है ना V था ये सो so, इसके लिए क्या यूज करेंगे वोल्ट मीटर तो वी कैन कनेक्ट वोल्ट मीटर अक्रॉस आर वन वी कैन नोट डाउन बी देन वी कैन कनेक्ट अमीटर अक्रॉस आर टू सॉरी वोल्ट मीटर अक्रॉस आर टू वी कैन नोट डाउन वी देन वी कैन कनेक्ट द वोल्ट मीटर अक्रॉस आर थ्री वी कैन नोट डाउन द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस इट्स एंड इन ईच केस वी फाइंड दैट वोल्ट मीटर रीडिंग आर सेम वोल्ट मीटर रीडिंग आर सेम तो ये इसका अलग जो टोटल हमारे पास वोल्टेज है दैट इज बीइंग गिवन टू द ईच रजिस्टर उसके उसके जो एंड्स है क्रॉस इट्स एंड्स सेम वोल्टेज इज बीइंग अप्लाइड ये सो दिस इज द बिगेस्ट एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन ओके इसको भी रब करते हैं अब आगे हम चलते हैं कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स so now uh, some points to remember some important points uh, which we should not know when we are uh, using parallel combination the first point is total current in parallel combination is equal to the sum of neutral current in each resistor this we have done uh, we have done diagram kiya tha so this means total current is i and if we are using three resistors so i1 current in one i2 current hoga dusre mein and i3 current is uh, in third resistor तो टोटल करंट इज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ i1 i2 i3 ओके इफ वी आर यूजिंग फोर कंडक्ट रेजिस्टर्स इट विल बी प्लस i4 एंड सो ऑन यस तो टोटल करंट इज डिवाइडेड इनटू डिफरेंट पार्ट्स और सीरीज में क्या होता था v पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज डिवाइडेड इनटू डिफरेंट पार्ट्स v इज इक्वल टू v1 v2 v3 वो होता है इसमें सीरीज में यस इट इज इन पैरेलल तो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर The potential difference across each resistor is same. In uh, uh, parallel combination, अभी हमने किया था when we were talking about the three resistors. So here this is R1 and here this is R2 and here it is uh, R3. So here uh, potential difference of uh, each across each is same. V V. ये R1 है, ये R2 है, ये R3 है. 
but potential difference across each resistor is equal to the total potential difference uh, applied okay by the battery at home jo gharo mein hota hai kitna hota hai that is 220 220 220 volt hota hai hai na hamara jo ghar mein electricity aati hai so each plug each circuit is getting 220 volt kitna voltage har ek hamara jo circuit mein aa raha hai ghar mein yes any problem here now the current in each resistor is inversely proportional to its resistance this is another important point here so what does it mean isme aayega i is equal to v upon r here v kya hai is constant v is constant it is equal to the applied voltage jo cell ka hoga ya ghar mein humne baat kari 2 to 0 so here it is constant so when r is increasing i will kya hoga decrease agar i increase hoga to i uh, i kya hoga decrease hoga if i is decreasing going down to uh, i kya hoga it will increase so this way to resistance jiska zyada hoga usme current kya hoga kam hoga in uh, in in parallel combination in parallel combination so if resistance is very high current is less and series mein kya hota tha just think of it series mein kya hota tha yes in series what happens usme relation kya hai usme relations different hota hai hai na series mein kya tha v is equal to i r ki baat karte hain hum to agar hum current ki baat karenge to i is equal to v upon r to usme dekhiye v is not constant v is not constant in that i is constant तो V का रिलेशन होता है R के साथ में V इज डायरेक्टली प्रोफेशनल टू रेजिस्टेंस इन इन सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन तो ये छोटे छोटे बेसिक डिफरेंसेस है वी मस्ट नो एनी प्रॉब्लम हियर नोट ऑन दिस थ्री पॉइंट्स आफ्टर दैट टू मोर पॉइंट्स आर देयर हरि ओम सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू so the next is uh, the reciprocal of equivalent resistance is equal to sum of reciprocal of each resistance you know this we have done the re equivalent resistance hamara rp is equal is ka reciprocal ho gaya rp equivalent resistance and if we have r11 r2 hai and then r3 okay so on. so equivalent resistance is reciprocal it is a reciprocal uh and it is equal to the sum of reciprocal of each resistance okay jaise hum baat kare ki if we have two ohm resistance three ohm resistance and uh, four ohm resistance these resistor resistances are there in parallel so iska uh, equivalent kaise nikalenge dekhiye to 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 4 find karenge are you what is the rcm here calcium is how much 12 so 2 6 3 4 and 4 3 0 so what do we get here 1 upon rp is equal to 6 for 10 plus 3 13 upon 12 13 upon 12 yes so this way we can find out the equivalent resistance and now if we find the value of rp आरपी की वैल्यू कितनी आती है तो देयर फॉर आरपी विल बी इक्वल टू 12 अपॉन 13 एंड 12 अपॉन 13 देखिए कितना ये पॉइंट एक से भी कम है ना पॉइंट 1 से भी कम है यस सो व्हाट डू वी गेट फ्रॉम दिस द हाई ये इसमें पढ़ेंगे नाउ सेकंड पॉइंट हाई रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइसेस आर कनेक्टेड इन पैरेलल तो व्हाई डू वी जॉइन हाई रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइसेस इन पैरेलल टू डिक्रीज द रेजिस्टेंस टू डिक्रीज द टोटल रेजिस्टेंस टोटल रेजिस्टेंस इज डिक्रीज द अमाउंट ऑफ करंट क्या होगा इट विल इंक्रीज ओके सो इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट हाई रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइसेस आर कनेक्टेड इन पैरेलल टू डिक्रीज द रेजिस्टेंस यस एंड सीरीज में क्या होता है लो रेजिस्टेंस डिवाइसेस आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज टू इंक्रीज द रेजिस्टेंस टू इंक्रीज द रेजिस्टेंस एंड टू डिक्रीज द करंट जिससे कि डिवाइसेस हमारी खराब 
Yes. So now third part. Equivalent resistance is always less than the smallest resistance. Smallest and always. So here you can see the smallest one is two ohm. ये two ohm है, ये three है, four है. And equivalent resistance जो हमने find करा, this is twelve upon thirteen and it is less than two ohm. Two is the smallest one. And equivalent resistance जो आता है, twelve upon thirteen है, it is less than two. So this is another important point which we have to remember. Any problem here? Yes, here LCM is LCM can be eight also, no? This is eight LCM लेंगे. So this is eight LCM लेंगे तो देखिए कितना हो जाएगा? This is eight. So for the eight, three, no, eight नहीं आएगा, ना? Yes. So here Prashant was saying sir LCM is eight. Oh Prashant, the LCM cannot be eight here. It is here twelve only. Yes. Any problem here? Any doubt? No. Clear? One more example is that. Let's take one more example. It is always less. If we have again two ohm resistance, four ohm resistance, and here it is six ohm. In co parallel we join it. तो ये हो जाएगा वन अपॉन आर पी इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन टू प्लस वन अपॉन फोर प्लस वन अपॉन सिक्स एंड एलसीएम कितना आ जाएगा इसमें देखिए हम्म ट्वेल्व तो टू सिक्स जा फोर थ्री जा एंड सिक्स टू जा तो इट इज इलेवन बाय ट्वेल्व एंड हियर one upon RP है, this is one upon RP is equal to eleven point twelve, तो RP क्या होगा? इसका भी ऐसे प्रकार होगा, तो देखो RP is equal to this is twelve upon eleven, and it is less than two, more than one आएगा but less than two, twelve upon eleven less than two, yes any problem here? Chale? So now, after that, what are the advantages of using uh, parallel combination? Why do we prefer parallel combination? Ko? Yes, what is the advantage of using parallel combination in our series combination? Okay, so this we are going to discuss now. Now, advantage of parallel combination. Why do we prefer uh, parallel combination? Okay. So the first part is if any uh, any one of the appliances or devices uh, doesn't work or fuse. Even our uh, electrical devices fuse be there. Yes, LED fuse or electric bulb fuse or get Okay. Then other devices are not affected. Why? Reason? Kya hoga? Agar ab ki what is the reason? Reason. So reason क्या है? Because there are there are different paths. Each device has its own path, है ना? Each device is getting electric current from its own path. So there are different paths. इसमें reason ऐसे heading डाल के लिख सकते हैं आप, है ना? ये this this is the best way to get the good mark. So each device has its own path of getting electric current. Or we can say that there are different paths. तो the for the supply of electric current तो देखिए जैसे इसको डायग्राम से क्लियर करें so current is coming from this side this is I and it is going to three resistors I one I two and this is I three this is I two so ये जो हो गया हमारे three resistors yes here ये आ गया एंड दिस में सर्किट इज कंप्लीटेड यहां पर इसका सर्किट कंप्लीट हो जाता है दिस इज द बैटरी हियर सो इफ दिस डिवाइस इज नॉट वर्किंग ये वर्क नहीं कर रही है तो करंट विल आई2 करंट विल गो टू दिस आर2 एंड करंट विल आल्सो गो आई3 टू आई3 एंड आर3 एंड इट विल कंप्लीट द सर्किट तो इफ इट डजंट वर्क देन अदर आर2 एंड आर3 आर नॉट अफेक्टेड सेम वे अगर ये काम नहीं कर रही है and this is working, this is now working and this is not working. So current will go to this side, it will not go to R2 
Current will go to R three, and the circuit is completed again. And other R one and R three are not affected. So there are different paths for the flow of electric current. So therefore, in parallel combination, if one of the devices is not working or two second is two are not working, then other devices are not affected. ये घर पे आपने देखा होगा है ना? Yes. अगर ड्राइंग रूम की लाइट ऑफ कर दें या ड्राइंग रूम का ट्यूब खराब हो जाता है तो फैन काम करता रहता है अदर रूम्स में काम होता रहता है ये सब नो तो दिस इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन नाउ नेक्स्ट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस डिवाइसेस और ईच अप्लायंस इज इक्वल टू द अप्लाइड पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस ओके सो ईच डिवाइस गेट्स करंट अकॉर्डिंग टू इट्स रिक्वायरमेंट देखिए पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस क्या होता है टोटल V है 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 घर में हमने आपको बताया था कि टोटल टू टू जीरो आ रहा टू टू जीरो इज बी सप्लाइड सो हमारा एक डिवाइस आर वन है एंड दूसरा डिवाइस हमारा आर टू है तो द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ करंट फॉर आर वन कैन बी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम आर टू सो करंट कैसे आता है इन सीरीज हमने सॉरी पैरल में पढ़ा था आई वन आई टू आई थ्री अलग अलग करंट आते हैं तो देर फोर हियर करंट फॉर आर वन विल बी V upon R1 and current for I2 R2 will be I2 is equal to V upon R2. So uh, each device gets current according to its requirement. So therefore they work properly. घर में देखिए microwave भी connected है, geyser भी है, okay electric iron भी है and uh, 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 18 watt LED is also being used. Yes. So each device is working properly. And the voltage supplied is how much? Two to zero volt. इतना सब को मिल रहा है. Okay, total two to zero volt is being supplied. Now it is uh, up to the appliance, up to the device that how much current it wants. And ये depend करता है उसके resistance के ऊपर. So therefore they work properly. Yes, papa ने hundred rupees लाके सब बच्चों को दे दिए. Now it is up to the child that how much he wants to सेव कितना वो सेव करना चाहता है कितना उसका यूज करना चाहता है यस दिस इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग पैरेलल कॉम्बिनेशन एनी प्रॉब्लम नो ओके नाउ लास्ट पॉइंट ये तो हम बात कर रहे थे थ्री डिवाइसेस व्हेन कनेक्टेड इन पैरेलल इफ वी आर कनेक्टेड कनेक्टिंग टू डिवाइसेस इन पैरेलल सिंपली दिस फार्मूला कैन बी यूज टू कैलकुलेट द इक्विलेंट रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज R1, R2 upon R1 plus R2. Yes, any problem here? So, this के बाद में last के दो point और करते हैं and then session is completed. Now, last two points. If R1 and R2, तो अभी हमने बताया था. If R1 and R2 only two resistors devices are connected in डायरेक्ट हम इसको यूज कर सकते हैं ठीक है ना Each of resistance R, each each of resistance R. मतलब हर resistor का resistance same है और n number of resistors are connected. Then uh, equivalent resistance in parallel will be R upon n. Okay, resistance upon total number of total number of resistors. Okay, so this is the uh, simple formula to calculate the equivalent resistance when uh, n number of resistor each of resistors are are connected in parallel simple sa example le lete hain if four ohm resistance is uh, is a resistance of one resistor and uh, uh, five such five such uh, resistors are connected in parallel so what will be the equivalent resistance so this will simply hoga dekhiye therefore my equivalent resistance rp will be equal to r kitna hai four ohm Four upon कितना रखेंगे five and it will be equal to zero point eight ohm zero point eight ohm 
So again, you can see 0 0.8 uh, is less than 4. So in a parallel combination, Euclid resistance is always less than the smallest resistance used in the parallel combination. This we have done. Okay, so this way we can solve the numericals. So in next session, uh, we are going to do the experiment uh, of which experiment? To find the equivalent resistance when resistors are corrected in series. This experiment is not going to be Ohm's law experiment is not going to be because most of you are not going to schools. So it is the best way to learn the experiments at home and to gain the knowledge. It's the right time to get the knowledge sitting at home. So thanks to all of you. God bless you all.